Good morning, guys. I am outside because it's actually not freezing for once, which is awesome. I think we're getting up into the 60s next week, but I just fed the chickens, which is always an ordeal because they jump at me. It's been a busy morning, and I will tell you a little bit about it. end of our week was very hectic to the point where Saturday came around and we were exhausted and Sunday is usually one of our busiest days which is a little unusual but the field we're trying to get into it just tends to be a good meeting time so we had a few meetings yesterday and we did grocery shopping and today is going to be another busy day because Zach is starting taxes I figured if he is going to be doing that then I can at least cook and get some good meals going because man oh man last week with everything going on plus a friend visiting we just didn't eat very well and I do want to talk about that because I always get questions on IBD and diet but I could really tell that it was affecting me and I'll tell you more about that a little bit later going back to the taxes thing not that anybody's thrilled to hear about taxes I always get the question of you know Maggie we know that you're a nurse but what does Zach do for work. So Zach worked in finance previously. It's what he went to school for and he actually worked on Wall Street a bit um, and Northern Jersey. We always knew that um, we wanted a little bit different, I guess different pace of life. That's how I can explain it to you guys. And so when we started looking for a property to purchase, we wanted something that would work at the time to be kind of an in-between of New York City and Philadelphia because I worked in Philadelphia at the time he worked in New York City but was also a little bit more away from the hustle and bustle of big cities we also knew we wanted to do a business and I had been looking at our property for I think over a year I was scoping it out and knew it was commercial and we saw the barn and we were like yes we are going to do something we're going to do a business in this barn and it's going to be great the thing behind starting a business that is not just a business but also involves a piece of property there is so much you have to do i mean more than we ever imagined but we we knew we were gonna be in it for the long haul and do what we needed to do to make sure everything was done you know as it should be legally and whatnot so whether or not you guys realize it Zach is like our ultimate coordinator with this he has created a whole team of people that have helped us with our barn and if you didn't know we're trying to turn it into a wedding venue so Zach is coordinating between multiple lawyers our architect civil engineer um, different landscaping people and not just landscaping but land preservationist I don't think that's a word land conservationist I don't think that's a word either but people who work with the land and try to restore it to what it was back in the day because another big goal of ours and this is a little bit more long term is to restore the property we're also looking to improve the plant species that we have because we have a lot of invasive plants apparently we learned this last week in one of our meetings because of being an old dairy farm it was just like over i guess overused and it brought in a lot of bad things so long story short Zach coordinates all of that and he does it from home for the most part um, which he's really really good at it and I'm so grateful for that <laughs> anyway guys I have my pelvic floor therapy appointment today I usually have it on Mondays now it's just once a week and I started using my dilators so we're gonna see um, how that's going if it's helping me improve at all or if it's not and if we need to do different steps we will see what happens okay heading into pelvic floor therapy Zach is going to WALK the DOGs <laughs> I don't want them to get too excited and I will see you guys in a few minutes have fun thanks it'll be a thrill <laughs> can't wait to hear how it goes
Hey guys, Zach checking in. Just dropped mags off a few moments ago for a pelvic floor therapy. Uh, something I just started doing the last few times when uh, I'm waiting for her is, well, last time was just Bruno. We got Bruno and Dixie with Hey, Let me show you them. Hey guys. <laughs> Too interested in the why, but it's a pretty large uh, parking lot at the area we're going to. So I've just been taking them for like a 20, 30 minute stroll. It's kind of past some of the time while waiting and get some, some sunlight in. Just some exercise for everybody. So uh, I'll be checking back in shortly once Mags is done and we'll let you know how everything went. Whew. All right, guys, just got back about a half hour walk, a little over a mile and a half. Everyone's <laughs> feeling good, a little better after some exercise today, right guys? So we're all hydrated now and we're gonna go get Mags and let you know how our class went. Oh, huh? it's me, it's oh. you, it's me. <laughs> I'm trying to get it because this, lens is so zoomed in i do not like it like i feel fine, like I you can only fit one face in the frame <laughs> otherwise my arm is totally stretched out i just finished with pelvic floor therapy and we are heading home now and i guess zach took the doggos on their walk and <laughs> we had a great time yeah as you guys already saw i have yet to review that clip to approve it or disapprove it <laughs> But we'll head home and I'll tell you a little bit more about the food I made and how it's been affecting us and how we've been feeling and all that stuff. Because um, I know you guys are interested IBD wise, at least some of you have asked about it. Um, but also just for the generally healthy people, aka Zachary. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah, he got all the health. I got none of it. All right, I am in our bedroom right now. I'm like so tired because I've been going, going, going since 7 a.m. Two things I want to say before I talk about um, our recent diet. The first one is that somebody sent me something from Ukraine and we didn't get a chance to go to the post office and we kind of forgot about it. We went today and found out whatever it was was sent back. So I'm so sorry about that, whoever sent that. Um, Thank you so much. I'm really sorry, but you're gonna get it back. I was like, we missed it by a couple days. And the second thing is, a few of you have let me know that other people in the chronic illness community are now missing off of Instagram. I don't know what's going on, but if you guys notice people in particular missing, please let me know. I'm going to try and gather a group of us and see if we can get Instagram's attention. Some of you guys were like very wary about the email I got, which I think that was definitely scam. But Instagram did actually roll out a policy in August of 2020 where they do require verification through an ID or some sort of photo image of you. And that is to make sure that you're not a scam account or spam. They said that um, sometimes this can happen if you have too many followers in a different country than where you live, which I do have a lot of followers not in the United States, so maybe that's it. Let me know if you know of any others that are experiencing this in the chronic illness area community on Instagram, and I'm gonna try and reach out to them and just see with our combined efforts if we can flag Instagram down and say, hey, quit deleting us, we're not spam. Let's get into my diet, Zach's diet. Basically, like I said, we ate not healthy food last week. And the funny thing about it is I lost a bit of weight because of it. And I don't know if it's just really wasn't nutritious or you think like, oh, we're going to have dinner from this restaurant tonight. Like, let me save my appetite for it. I don't know what it was, but I lost like four pounds. Four pounds pounds that is a lot to a little person like me so um yeah i i was like zach we gotta get we gotta get on a better diet so we went grocery shopping yesterday i planned out all of our meals and so today this morning i made blueberry muffins with real blueberries they are so freaking good and they're like protein packed ones so little extra bonus there. I made shepherd's pie and I made that in bulk so I could freeze one container of it and then actually bake the other container for dinner tonight. And I didn't film this one, but I made these delicious wraps. I took a tortilla and I took 
tuna, like canned tuna, mix it in a bowl with a little bit of mayo, not too much, and then I also kind of mashed in some avocado, um, a little bit of salt, and I put that on the wrap, and then I got salsa and put that on the wrap, rolled it up. Oh, it was so good. So if you're interested in that, that's pretty dang healthy. I really think avocados, I know that's kind of like, <laughs> that's the trend right now, but they're really good for you. So I'm going to try and keep incorporating that into my diet more. I know in a couple of videos back, I showed the salmon avocado bagels that I make. I'm unfortunately one of those people who gets like really into a food and then gets really sick of it. So I, I kind of lost my taste for that um <laughs> but i was like let me incorporate the salmon and and the elements of that in different ways in my diet so the taste is new to me but it's the same you know key components i get a lot of advice a lot of advice <laughs> um on diet for my ibd and after 20 years of having it um, I have figured out what works and what doesn't work and there's all different theories about IBD and how food can play a part in that and um, while food can definitely be a type of therapy like there are formulas specifically made for IBD patients and you know obviously foods can be triggers and whatnot um, there is no cure for inflammatory bowel disease. So while sometimes people do really well with just diet management, it doesn't guarantee them that IBD will not come back even if they're on the diet that has worked for them for years. I've had foods that work for me for a number of years and then I suddenly just don't do well with them. And I always get this comment, you guys saw me eating some corn. <laughs> I always, I was like waiting for the comments on that. They're like, wait, you can eat corn? <laughs> I am actually okay with corn. One of the reasons that you can have trouble, even when you have an ostomy, sometimes scar tissue and adhesions build up and it can wrap around your intestine and make things harder to pass through it. Um, so I know a lot of people have trouble with like lettuces and, and salads and corn and nuts and seeds and things like that. I really don't have a lot of issues with that. I think the one really serious blockage that I got, it was a raw piece of broccoli that I did not chew. But even since I had the adhesions taken down, I've noticed it's gotten better and I can eat more of that. There are many different types of patients and there are patients that follow what their doctor says to a T and I remember my doctors always telling me, don't eat popcorn, don't eat popcorn, don't eat popcorn, Maggie, don't you do it. I eat popcorn. Yeah, I eat popcorn. Um, but I'm also not a good patient, so listen to your doctors. That's what I'm telling you. But also recognize that sometimes you have to test out foods um, some people are on such strict diets to the point where they can't enjoy life and like eating and that's one of the best things in life. So, you know, as long as you check with your doctor, check with your nutritionist, if they think certain foods you could at least try, like you're going to be safe to try, um, you know, that, that could be a way of going about your diet with, with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis or any other GI issues you may have. All right, guys, well, we have Dixie coming over to say hello. Hi. Hey, y'all. I know. You always interrupt. As soon as we start. As soon as we start, every time. But we just enjoy the shepherd's pie. Delicious. And it's... Thank you. You're welcome. It's 10 o'clock at night, 10.30. <laughs> So we are going to call it a night, and we hope you guys are feeling good. We'll see you in the next. It was a perfect, like, dual wave. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.